Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be making my very own fan game and showing you the process of making it. There's going to be uh, quite a lot of devlogs um, because it's going to be a pretty big game. Now, if you want to see the full game, be sure to watch all the way through. And yeah, just enjoy. And also, please subscribe because I'm super close to 30k subscribers and it would be my dream. But anyways, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I started doing is finding some textures because what's a game without textures? So I was finding a wood texture for the floor, um, which ended out working pretty well, but I do end up changing it later just cause I didn't really end up liking it. Now I'm finding a wall texture, which is like stone and I'm editing it. So it looks well. And then, um, yeah. And then um, I'm gonna be making the light look better, which is super good with post-processing, which is basically makes it so like there's uh, better lighting just in general. Um, and here I'm gonna be making like the actual light, which is I was going for like a I don't know what you call it, but um, something that looks a little bit like that light. Um, put a texture on that, uh, copied those, put them in, resized them. And then what's good is it looks so good when you add bloom, which makes it glow just like that. And look at how good that looks already. So um, we've got that and it's looking pretty good. So I duplicate them and move them over, make the room a little bigger. Um, and now I'm just uh, making the lighting again. And now I'm uh, adding something that's like a light beam. I try figuring it out. Um, which barely ends up working because I, the last time I did that was like a real while ago. So I have to go look it up, um, go onto that and find how to do that. So I end up doing that and it, it's just a light beam, um, but it ends up being really laggy. So I remove them later, but I mean, it looks good while it's there. So it's pretty cool. Now, um, I'm just adding like the actual light. So there's actual light inside the room. Um, so it's not just like a dark room, you know? Um, then I'm importing, um, the mirror. So there's a, I have a good mirror. And so it's a really, really good mirror. It does make it your game a little laggy though. So, um, there will be a thing to disable it, but I'll probably do that later. Um, getting some textures for the thing, so like metal texture that I really like. Um, and yeah, so I'm basically just um, sorting everything out right now, making um, everything um, in place so it's all good and everything's not random later. And I actually end up doing this in the morning, so I have to end up going to school, so um, I just add the gorilla rig after this and um, that's about it. I, I'd say day one, so I guess day two is after I get home from school. So uh, this is day two, and so after I get home from school, um, I'm playtesting my game so that it works well. Um, as you can see, it does work well, but um, this is like the hardest part that I end up doing with my fan games is lag and that makes your movement like so broken i actually hate it but um so i'm just trying every technique i know um to fix movement i uh at the start of day two i um removed the uh the beam the light beams that i said i would remove earlier but yeah so i'm just looking up how to um decrease or like make your movement unbroken so i'm just watching that video shout out to whoever made that um craft these tutorials yeah um and so that doesn't really end up working which is sad because it's just so annoying how my movement is always broken um which it's just because it's laggy but anyway um i do end up doing this for quite a while so i'm just gonna skip ahead to where i'm actually making the map more so after that um i start working on a pipe which will be going on the roof or like whatever you'd call it overhead 
Um, I'm using the same metal texture I used for like the outline of the mirror, and I'm just making it uh, actually look like a pipe. I end up adding more lighting because it was pretty dark in there. Um, there's that, and I wanted to make it like curve into the other wall, so that's that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, there was no like curve tool, so I was like, I um, used like a sphere um, to do that, which actually ends up working out really good. Um, which to my, um, I don't know, I tried deleting the faces so it wasn't there, but I would just say, like, for moderators, it'd be easy to, like, go up there, so that would be easier. Um, yeah, so I ended up using that sphere to make the curve, which looks really good. Now I'm organizing it, and now I'm making the computer table where the computer goes, so, um, I'm finding another texture for that um which took me a while i found i end up finding a really good texture i like but uh, um i was just trying to look for a, a really good texture that i could use which was that texture um i actually really like it um i wanted it to curve around but every time i like did it like the texture looked so weird um so i just used pro builder to extrude it and do that I end up rotating it the other way, um, just so it's, it looks a little better, scaling it down. Um, I find another texture for my floor because I actually didn't like it, as I said at the start, but now it looks really good. Um, added another bar down there. And then, um, I was just playing around with some materials, um, just to do that, made it more pixelated, and then I ended up, uh, testing some things out just to see how things looked and make it less laggy um god what was that um and yeah so then i end up importing um photon which is multiplayer so like you have your computer and stuff and it actually allows you to like have voice chat and multiplayer so i end up doing that i'll have to blur all this because i can't show it but yeah um I have to create some like codes so it's like special to my game so that it's not like playing somewhere else. Um, but yeah, so I end up importing the voice um, for Photon. And then I actually forgot how to like actually import it. Um, so I went to um, I went to Be Awesome's tutorial, um, which is really helpful. Subscribe to Be Awesome really uh, good tutorial helper um, I end up doing all that for photon and yeah that was uh, I end up play testing it a lot more so there's that um yeah that's that's my fan game so hope you enjoyed and another one will be coming soon so peace